Hey, what's up everybody? So, today I want to talk about selling uh, Black Diamond Disney VHS tapes. Um, so, recently, within the past few years, there's been a lot of articles about, uh, it's kind of like clickbait article, articles saying, this is how much your old stuff could be worth. And they had um, all these Disney Black Diamond VHS tapes that were selling for thousands of dollars. That's just not true. Um, they're not worth anywhere near that. Um, you can find, if you would just travel around to Goodwills, you could find hundreds of them. Um, if you just go to Goodwill right now, I could probably, there's probably five of them at my local Goodwill right now. Um, just all different titles and stuff. Um, so, the way you tell a black diamond is, like, on the side of it, there's going to be um, just, like, a regular black diamond on the top that says, um, classic collection or something like that. Uh, that's really how you tell. That's really the only difference between a uh, black diamond and a regular edition is just that, uh, just that symbol on the case. Um, I have sold a few, but you're not going to get thousands for them, you're not going to get hundreds for them. Um, so, really the only one I've sold is the Beauty and the Beast one, which, um, which is on there a lot. They're in that's the title that's in the, all those articles that sold for tens of thousands of dollars is the Beauty and the Beast. So, I think because of that, it actually increased in price a little bit. A lot of people started buying them, maybe to resell, I don't know. But, I've sold one on eBay for like 10 or $20. And then I've sold probably like three or four on Amazon. So, you really would just want to search uh, Black Diamond VHS on Amazon and kind of look at the rank. If it's under like 200,000, you should be good at selling them. Um, but if it's over that, then I wouldn't list it at all. Um, and I think there's Beauty and the Beast listing, and when I listed it, it was going for like 15 bucks. So you get like eight after fees. Um, so I sold a few like that. Um, I haven't really wanted to sell them like that unless they're in really good condition. Because a lot of the times when I find them, the case is smashed. It's, um, the case is broken and stuff like that. It's just in bad condition. Um, I haven't really found any that are in very good condition recently. Um, but also, I think the hype has really died down on them. So, I believe the price has gone back down, so it might be worth like three to five bucks after fees on Amazon would be the most, I would think. Um, maybe even less right now. So, they're not really worth thousands of dollars. Um, so I would rethink that. I would just do research on eBay and look at the actual solds and don't just see like one sold listing for a thousand dollars and just think they're worth money because they're not. Um, I would sort by lowest price and actually see how many sold for like five bucks and then kind of look at the highest price and see how many actually sold for thousands because there's going to be maybe a few that sold for thousand dollars but there's gonna be hundreds that sold for around five five dollars so that's really what's gonna tell you what the actual price is 